I believe I share everyone's sentiment when I say RUN! Hey! What's up my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and we have finally reached the grand finale with TFC Toys Poseidon. We have taken a look at all six members, and if you've missed any of those reviews, there is a playlist linked in the description down below to check out at your leisure. But now, let's get down to combining. Now, as you know, if you've been watching these videos, any of the five limb bots can be either an arm, a leg, or the gun. Um, this is the configuration I'm going with, but you can do whatever you want. So let's get right down to it. So we'll get a leg here. Now what you want to do with the legs is um, you do want to make sure that the uh, combiner port is just brought back one click. That will just give you easy access there. And you just take the body and that will just slide right in push all the way back and you can just straighten that out and now he has a leg and can actually support himself on one leg that's pretty cool and we will bring in death claw here connect him straighten that out Boop. and now he has two legs hooray for legs so now let's get to the upper body all right, so we're at the top floor, so now we will connect the arms, so we'll take Mentor Razor here, and how these work is you just have grooves on either side of the post here, and you just line that up, it helps if you move the tail out of the way, and that will just slide up, slide up with the greatest of ease, greatest of ease, a lot of stuff in the way, but there you go, slide those up, and thank God there's a lot of friction there because you know, that's that's relying totally on friction. There's nothing locking this in place. So if that was off by even a little bit, those arms would just drop right off. So luckily, there is a lot of friction there to hold the arms in place. Thank God. So you got that. And then we get big bite here. And just slide him on. Like that. And... There you have Poseidon all put together. And pretty cool looking. Pretty cool looking in my opinion there. So you can get a nice full shot there. Looks quite cool. Quite, quite cool. I dig him. I dig him. Not perfect though. He, he does have his flaws. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. But that head sculpt is a very nice head sculpt. You can see you get some good some good light piping going on there so his eyes glow. Very nice yellow. And all in all, I mean he's just a big bulky chunky robot. <laughs> so yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. Now articulation wise, uh the head is on a ball joint, so you can get some wiggly waggly wiggly waggly um you do get this alternate piece here this alternate neck piece um which you know still keeps the head on the ball joint but allows you to bring the head forward so it sits a little bit more you know centered on the body here um the only problem is i cannot get that pin knocked out for anything i've tried everything i have a center punch i've tried everything and i cannot get that pin knocked out for nothing to actually put this piece on um so I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll keep trying and hopefully if I wish upon a star, I'll be able to get this piece swapped out. But yeah, if you can get this swapped out, it will allow you to have the head, you know, shift a little bit more. Have the head more centered there on the body. But yeah, I can't get that pin knocked out for nothing. I tried everything. I don't know what to do, but I will. <laughs> I'll keep trying. But as is, head is on the ball joint. Uh, the arms can do a full 360 on a nice ratchet. They can... Move in and out. If you move the tails out of the way, you get good range of movement there. You also have the hinge at the uh, base of that combiner post right there. So that gives you one click, one extra click there if you need it. And these ratchets are quite stiff. Um, you do have a ratcheted elbow that you get. Almost 90 degrees of bend there. You also have a bicep swivel. You do have a swivel at the forearm itself. Uh, coming down 
to the hands here. Uh, you do have a wrist swivel. Um, the hands are articulated. The thumb is on a ball joint at the base and a hinge here and a hinge here. And each finger is just hinged in three places. Hinge at the base, hinge there, and hinge there. So you can make a very nice fist right there. Very nicely done fist. I like, I like articulated hands that can actually make a good looking, convincing looking fist and that definitely works. So you got that going on right there. And we do also have a waist swivel. This whole front panel will move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward, that far, back, out that far. Outward movements. Can almost do the full splits. Uh, you do have a swivel right above the knee. Um, you have that joint right there, but that's more transformation joint for uh, for uh, iron shell. That's really not supposed to move in combined mode. But you do have a swivel at the knee. Uh, knee joints are ratcheted. You get about 90 degrees of bend there. And the feet, this guy's heavy. <laughs> the feet are on a ball joint in there. So you do get some squeaky ankle tilt. Not much forward and back. Uh, you do have a little bit of a toe joint there. Again, it's kind of hindered just by all this. Um, if you can, you can if you want to. If you want to splay his toes out, you can splay his toes out. Totally up to you. Me, I just like to keep them nice and tucked in. But totally up to you, as always. Your toy. Display it however you wish. Right there, yeah, go. Let me get them all situated here. So there you have the articulation. Now let's get down to some extra bits here. Now, these pieces right here were included with an earlier uh, member, and at first I did not know what these were for. I know what these are for now. These are for the shoulders, and if we come up here, see if we can get a good shot of the shoulder. Can we move this out of the way? Can we? There we go. So what this does is this is just a little filler piece for this gap right here. And you just take this and you just slide that down like that. And you can see that just fills in that gap right there. Um, you can see it doesn't affect the articulation. You can still do everything you want to do. It's just a little filler piece. On this side, it doesn't affect anything. Now, if we plug this on the side with Big Bite, if we slide this down here, on Big Bite, unfortunately, it totally hinders his movement. Like, now his arm will not move out, and that's just due to the way he's designed. He just kind of has a bulkier uh, chest piece here, and that doesn't really keep that from moving. He still has the rotation here, but the outward movement is now null and void. So, depending on who you're using as arms, uh, this might totally stunt the movement there. So, that's a bit unfortunate, but, yeah. You can use them if you want to. If not, you don't have to. They are just optional pieces. Now, the next thing to talk about is this right here. This was included with 1,000 kills, and this is some extra bits for combined mode, but can also be used as a weapon for combined mode as well. This can be used as a gun, and you just take a handle here, and that just slides right in, and voila, it is now a big double-barreled blaster. So, let's see how that works out, shall we? Let's just come up here, and plug this into the hand. It does tab in very securely. Wrap the fingers around it, and there you go. Now, um, the problem here is that the ratchet is, the elbow ratchets are not really that strong. I'm going to make them a little front heavy here, so it makes them want to lean. But yeah, as you can see, like the elbow joint is just not strong enough. Like, you can get them to hold it up, but... It, 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 it doesn't take much to get his arm to drop. Um, the, 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 the elbow ratchets just aren't strong enough to support the weight. Like, you can do it if you're careful, but, again, doesn't take much for that arm to just drop, unfortunately. And the whole shoulder, again, just, yeah, just it can support the weight of the gun. And it's funny because it doesn't really weigh that much, but it's, oops, and his arm just fell off. <laughs> Let me put his arm back on. If you fiddle around with the arms too much, they will fall off though. Even though there's a lot of friction there, if you fiddle with them too much, 
the arms will fall off. Let me just get that fixed. All right, we got his arm back on. Um, although there is enough friction to hold the arms on, it really would have been nice if maybe they just connected a totally different way, or if there was just something to just lock those shoulders in place, like an actual like locking point, a click somewhere, not just totally relying on flick on friction to uh, to hold the arms on. But yeah. It is what it is. Like I said, this set definitely has its flaws. It's not perfect. Um, but we can also use this for combined mode as well. So we're going to show off how that works. So just remove the gun handle here. And we're going to come back down to the lower body because this all has to do with his legs. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these side sections here. You want to raise up these little bits and just take these side sections here and just... Pull these out, just untab them, and that's what holds these two sections together. What you're going to do here is just take the section, split it, bring that back, bring that back, and then these will just tab in right in there. So clickety-click, clickety-click, and you got that. Same thing on the other one, yes. Bring that back, bring that back, clickety-click, clickety-click. And then you want to take these sections right here. You're going to take this and you're going to fold this down and bring this section up like that. And you can see this long tab right here is just going to go into the slot right there. Let's bring that back. Let's tab that in. Got that going. Bring that back. This one is very squeaky. 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 Just tab that in right there. And you got that going on. So what's going to happen here is... We're going to, uh, let's just lay him down ever so gently and remove the foot here. And what's going to happen here is you're going to take this, uh, you want to come down here, get these out of the way. You want to take this post right here and just bring that down like that, close this back up. And this is now going to peg on the foot right here. So just line that up and just push that in. It's really tight. There we go. Just peg that in like that, and then you just plug this back on to the leg, like so. Do the same thing on the other one here. Just remove that. Uh, come in here. Put down that post. Put these back in. Plug these back on. Again, these are very tight. Yep. 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 There we go. <laughs> it helps. It helps if you go. Yep. That's that. That's what it helps. It helps so much. And we'll just plug his foot back on. And basically, this gives him lifts. So it makes him a little bit taller. And what it also does is it gives him some nice ratcheted ankle tilts right there. And you can see you get full tiltage there. And you also get. A joint right there so you can do that why I don't know but you can do that if you want to so that is what that's for you can still use that ball joint in there it still gives you a little bit of range of movement and you know still gives you a little bit of a uh, little bit of a toe movement there but that's what that does right there basically just gives him some lifts and some full-blown ratcheted ankle tilts so you got that going on so now with these bits as I drop them. What these bits are for are for his thighs right here. So what you do here is you just have these tabs on either side right here and these slots right there. And you just line these up and they just tab right on like that. And that just gives him some beefier thighs there as you can see. And again, these are totally optional parts. You don't have to use them if you don't want to. But they're there. So you can have that going on if you want to. So now he has some new thigh pieces. He has some lifts there. Gives him a little bit extra height. So yeah, totally up to you if you want to use those parts. So now, while we're down here, we're going to put together a big old sword. That's right. We can take all of the uh, sword weapons that each member came with. And we're going to make the big combine mode sword. So we want to bring in the handle here. You just want to pop the uh, pop the top off of it. And we're going to bring in these bits right here. You get four of those. Three, 
four and what you're going to do is they will just peg in right up in here so you just peg those in like that peg that in boop peg that in boop it's easier to get them plugged in and they do actually hold in quite securely so once you have that going on you just take the handle and just plug that back on and you have that bit right there. So now, once you have that going, we're going to take these swords right here, and these swords right here, and these are going to serve a purpose. So what you do here is you just line up the sword with these grooves, and you just push that in, push that in, then you take the other one, just push that in, and that secures all that in place like that. And what you do here is these the two uh, pink pegs will go into these two ports right here, and then this right here will just plug right into the center. So take that, push that in. So this is kind of sharp too, so it kind of makes it a little hard to get this pushed in. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> but you got that going on. Now once you've done that, we bring in these pieces right here that came with iron shell and you can see you have these tabs right here and they will go into these slots right here so you just take those and you just slot them on and just slot that on and this will also pick together right there and also have tab together right there so you just squeeze all that together and you have that and once you've done that we are now going to bring in these two swords and this sword right here, this sword does split down the middle, like that. And you just line up the posts right there. And just peg that together. Peg the other side together, like that. And then take the other side and do the same. Just plug that all on. Plug. Plug, work with me. Thank you. Thank you. And plug that all together. And you got the tip of the sword. And that just plugs in right there, like that. And there you have the combined mode sword. And that is freaking awesome. This, <laughs> this honestly is like the best thing about this combiner is this sword. That is awesome. That's not a knife. This is a knife. That, that's crazy right there. I love that. I love that. And as you can see, Kind of hold this up here. I mean, that's actually, it's it's taller than he is. It's actually taller than he is. That's amazing. <laughs> but there you go. So let's just get this into his hand here. So I'll put this in his left hand just because I want to. Again, this tabs right in and it does tab in very securely wrap his fingers around it and there you go now the elbow joints can support the weight of the sword the sword doesn't really weigh much of anything so the elbow joints can support the weight of it um, it still makes him a little a little uh, front heavy so it makes him kind of want to lean there but the elbow joints as you can see can support the weight of the sword thankfully so you at least got that going on there um, and of course let's not forget one of the members can be a gun and yeah, um, since you already saw what happened with the other gun, I think you can already guess what's going to happen when we plug this into his hand. It's not going to work. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's not going to work. Um, but hey, we'll show it off anyway. So we'll just plug <laughs> Cyberjaw in here in his gun mode. And of course, as you can guess, boop, just doesn't, yeah. I mean, if it couldn't support the weight of the other gun, you already know it's not going to support the weight of another full-on figure um, as a gun. You know, it's just, it, yeah, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. The arm just drops, unfortunately. That really sucks. Um, those ratchets needed to be a bit, uh, a bit stronger in order to make that work, and they just, they just aren't. Now, as far as the sword goes, uh, you can do different configurations with the sword if you want to, and they're all pictured in the uh, in the back of the instructions here. I think you can have a little short sword right there. 
if you want to. Um, you can just have like a little battle axe mace thing going on if you wish. Or you can split them in two and actually have them holding two swords. And I do give you a second handle for that if you want to go about that option as well. So you have some customization with the sword as well, which is pretty cool. So there you pretty much have all of that. So let's just get him moved off to the side. And we'll get down to some comparisons. Uh, with some other TFC bots. Here he is with Huglies, Huglies, Huglies. You can see he's definitely much bigger and bulkier than Hercules. Here he is with TFC's Defensor. You can see how they look together. I have that. Here he is with TFC's Leo Kaiser. You can see there, around about the same height there. So, there you have that. Here he is with the king, Phil Rex. Two big bots with two big swords. So you can see how they look together. For some mainline stuff, here he is with Combiner Wars Menasaur. See how they look together. Here he is with Combiner Wars Devastator. You can see that he is quite a bit shorter then Combiner Wars Devastator, so you got that. Uh, here it is with Trypticon. And if anybody cares, there you go. <laughs> way shorter than Trypticon, so obviously way shorter than Metroplex as well. Here it is with Unique Toys Abominus. In case you want to see how they look together. So there you have that. And last but not least, here it is with Masterpiece Megatron. So you can see how he scales there. So there you have that. Oh, and one more comparison. That's not last. That's not last. This one's last. G1 Piranicon because it's pressure. Piranicon e pressure. So there you go, there you have TSC Toys, Poseidon, and um, yeah, it's, it's a neat set, definitely not without its flaws. Um, the shoulders, I really wish there was an actual locking point for the shoulders instead of just relying on friction, because while they do stay on just fine, as you saw earlier, if you're messing around with the shoulders a bit too much, you can just wiggle them right off. So it would have been nice to just have just a nice solid locking point for those shoulders. Um, the ratchet joints in the elbows and shoulders definitely needed to be tighter in order to actually support the weight of either of the guns um, that that needed to be uh, that those joints needed to be a lot stiffer to be able to make that work so unfortunately it, unfortunately it just it just doesn't work at all so while the combined mode itself does have its flaws uh, the individual robots are really cool like I, I love their designs I think they look awesome um, but yeah the combined mode definitely has its flaws Overall, it's a decent set, but the combined mode definitely needed some uh, some extra tweaking there. But there you go. There you have Poseidon. If you would like a Poseidon of your own or any of TFC Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Poseidon playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the TFC Toys Poseidon, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, palm in your face. Wave, what? Why? 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 Why do you do this? Why do I do what? Make these things. Well, I need something to do in my spare time. Well, what if it tries to, you know, kill us? No, oh, been there, done that. What else is new? Mm, I hate it when you make sense. I know. Stop doing that. I can't. Well, does it have to stand right behind us? Well, I'm not gonna put him outside. It's cold! Yeah, that's his biggest problem. The weather.